Hi there peoples, this is that one Englishman again. I wanted to do a video today explaining to you why I'm absolutely excited about a new tabletop game that is coming out soon, which I was so pissed that I missed a Kickstarter for, and I don't know how I missed it. I love Game of Thrones. I got the board game. Ugh, so heavy, it's like lifting weights. That, I couldn't believe I missed the Kickstarter from Call Me or Not, A Song of Ice and Fire. Sadly, I'm going to have to wait until the end of this month of August 2018 to get the starter set between Lannisters and Starks. But, luckily, some few boxes were leaking out on eBay, and I decided to pick up myself a Stark Bowman set for the Starks. I got myself some extra halberdiers for the Lannisters as well, but I'm mainly going to be a Stark man myself until my lovely jubbly Dornishmen and Baratheons are going to come out, hopefully, if the game takes off. But, yeah, so I'm going to do you a video on uh, start moment today. And I'm going to go over the build, quality of the box, the contents, what you get, and just a little perks of my impressions. So, starting off with the box, we've got fantastic artwork of what you will receive. Um, this is how uh, Fantasy used to do their boxes. They used to do beautiful artwork with the miniatures, giving you a taste of uh, what the world is. And they've got the looks of the Stark, um, Bowman and their live livery and all that perfectly spot on. This is how they're depicted in the book instead of the TV show where they're all in like sort of like drab, dull brown leather. Um, and you've got beautiful um, artwork around the borders, you've got like all the houses and then on the back you've got the detailing of what it comes with. They're prefix models so you don't have to do any building so I really like that instead of spending like hours putting it all together, they come out of the box and you just get going in there. Um, the Lannisters and the Starts come as uh, coloured so you can just put them on the table and for newbies who might not be able to tell who's who, uh, for ease of use they've coloured them red and uh, a light grey which is great for new people who are looking to get into a tabletop game. The rules are very simple plus you get the uh, data sheet card in, in the box that tells you their stats and how they play so that's really useful. The build quality of the box is fantastic I was worried that um, transporting these figures how I was going to do it because I, I got rid of my AOS stuff because I really love Fantasy 8th edition with like rank and file and the, like, the community wasn't too great where I was so I decided to get rid of all my containers and my boxes and how I'm going to transport them. But something cool guys, is the box, it's solid. It's pretty solid, it's, like, it's not going to fall apart, even if it got a bit wet I don't reckon. Um, it would fall fall apart. So, so it's like this coffin design instead of like GW ones where they flop out and they're very flimsy and they can't sustain much you know, impact. But these are really solid. And then once you're in, you get a nice little container where the miniatures literally fit in like they're like custom made slots almost and you can just put them in uh, 12 figures and then you're away you can put them in there and the boxes are quite small so even if you have like 6 units you could easily put that in a bag or something and they'd be safe no rattling around and then get in the box the data card what I was talking about let's take that out of the thing so yeah it's really user friendly and uh, that's the great aspect of the game that I'm liking already, even though I've not even got the start set, right? This is just a small sliver, and I just love, love how it is. All the artwork and everything it gives you a brief uh, description of the unit. Then on the front, it tells you the stats. Movement, attack for attack, for the bows and the daggers. Um, and their leadership and their armour. And then their attack abilities there on the left well wow. yeah left um so yeah that's it's, it's really cool i can't wait until i get the box set it's so amazing and with the game of thrones the board game that i got I'm thinking of doing um like trying to figure out a campaign like where you do the movement and all that and the politics on the board there but then when you get the armies and stuff you can battle it out actually on the tabletop. So you could 
have less men or be at a disadvantage, but you could, if you was a good general, win still, and that would affect them back onto the actual board. So it'd be like sort of like total war, which is like you know you do all your politics and movement on the board and you set yourself up, but then in battle you can turn the tables. <sighs> could you imagine that? Like you could have support. So when you're actually playing with other people with the tabletop game and you're you're calling for support. You could have player three, four join you. Ah, oh, just be so cool if if you could get a good group of mates and plan that with this new um, tabletop game with the board game. That'd be so sweet. So guys, I'm gonna jump in and uh, get the camera set up for actually showing you the miniatures. Right, see you in a bit. So there you go, guys. We've got the miniatures all ranked up and filed. You get normally twelve in the unit of foot troops, which is great. And they're all prefixed, but the build quality is fantastic. As you can see, they come with a movement tray as well, which I like. Um, you know, the problem with me in skirmish games, I really get tired after a while of moving them all individually. Rank and file games are my thing. So, you got a little arrow on the front as well to help people who, you know, maybe are not that great with keeping track of things in the game. Just always show your front, because... Obviously these are on circles and they can move, so the direction they're facing may change, so that's a nice little touch as well. It's just great, look at, I'm going to try and like pick these up. The look of that medieval that they've got, they're so solidly built as well guys, it's just really well done. Fantastic job and I can't wait to get these painted. I've sprayed them white already, because I'm going to do them pretty much like uh, off-white for their surcoats. And then the off white for the circuits and kind of a mid tone grey. And um, yeah, and then do their mail dark and be off on the tabletop for some battles. So when the board game, um, not the board game, when the tabletop game comes out at the end of the month and um, I get it all out. I do some bat reps, I do some, uh, you know, gameplays and my impressions of the game with my friend. So it'd probably be like pitch based where I do it like screen by screen and com do commentary over it and uh, give you impressions on how the game plays because I reckon this is going to be really something truly great and um, I'm going to love it. I'm a fan of the like books and the series and just uh, t another tabletop game out there with a more medieval flair to it is uh, always a welcome thing. So guys if you like this video please feel free to comment and uh, talk to me if you're looking forward to it. Uh, subscribe and um, leave a like that would be very much appreciated. The channel does uh, have a mixture of things it's going to cover like things I'm passionate about so that could be a variety of things rock climbing, gaming, tabletop hobby, history, um, all manner of things. Uh, so if you're into that sort of thing, definitely give me a follow. And all the best, till next time guys. Take care.